As indicated in the title, I am getting ready to reveal a secret to you that Tractor Time with Tim could never even imagine doing. And the reason for this is because Tractor Time with Tim is a straight arrow, a model citizen, nearly a walking saint. I, on the other hand, am an outlaw. And guess what? I'm going to reveal to you how to light a fire underneath Johnny. So how am I going to accomplish this goal of waking Johnny from his slumber? Am I going to put a turbocharger on it? Am I going to change the injectors, the injector pumps, put a cam in it, big nasty pistons? No, not at all. What we're going to do is we're going to raise up the hydraulic pressure. First thing I'm wanting to do is get a accurate reading of how much pressure it has now and it's supposed to have right around 2000 PSI. So I just stick that gauge into any of these ports on the loader. Right now is a good time for a disclaimer. If you are irresponsible enough and foolish enough to do what I'm about to do here, then you're doing it at your own risk. Uh, your warranty will be void if you have any warranty. By the time I'm done with this, every seal will be leaking on it. All the internals will be damaged and the tractor will probably just blow up into a million pieces. With that being said, let's check the pressure now and see what we got. We want to take this measurement at WOT, that is wide open throttle. And I already warmed this thing up, so I can just fire it up. Right now the gauge is saying it's running at 2300 PSI. I thought it was supposed to have been factory set at around 2000. Could be my gauge. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure why it's a little bit higher than I thought it would be. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna increase it a little bit. Now to find the hydraulic pressure relief valve and do some adjustments. I know that there's one here on the rock shaft up in there buried somewhere. And the reason for that one is if you have an implement on the back and you're going over bumps and stuff real hard and the implement's heavy, it relieves the pressure so you don't damage the internals of your machine here, you know, on the lift components. But that's not the one we're after. There's also one internally located in the transmission. That's not the one we're after. What we're after is this one right here. And I'm going to try and show it to you. You see it right there? It's below the loader valve. And I'll get you a better view of it. Let me get this right tire off. There's a difference between an outlaw and an idiot. Use a jack stand. Fourteen millimeter wrench, five millimeter Allen wrench. I'm just gonna crack this stuff loose without, without uh, moving it. The jam nut. I believe we're ready for adjustment. So it's hard to demonstrate under the tractor and having to film out on the outside too. But what you need to do is tighten it up right turn on the Allen screw and hold your jam nut in place until you get it adjusted and then tighten it all down. Still holding your Allen wrench or your Allen screw in place while you tighten the jam nut back up. And I increased this 300 PSI because I don't think my gauge is accurate. I could be wrong. I would not recommend going over 20% of factory setting. And I would not recommend doing this at all. You do it at your own risk. Have you ever wondered why your curl on your bucket when you curl it is stronger than just lifting it? I think it's because, if you notice, have you ever looked at your hoses? This one has an orifice in there. So that little, that orifice, I think, 
gives it more pressure when you curl the bucket. If I'm wrong, leave it in the comments below. Time for a test drive, just in case Jonathan's parts internals decide to come loose and blow up on me and I don't make it back, I need to mention one more thing. Be sure and check out Tractor Time with Tim's YouTube channel. He has subcompact tractors, he has case excavators, and numerous other equipment that he uses and tests out. I've been watching him for years. It's an awesome channel. Let's see what Jonathan here will do. Jonathan is officially in beast mode, an absolute animal, a terror. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, genre is difficult for me on YouTube. I do tractor repair videos, trailer repair videos, I'm building a turbocharged ranger. If you're interested in any of that, check out my channel, guys, I'd appreciate it. I have one more thing I need to show you before I go. And Tim, I don't know if you're watching this or not, but if you are, and I know you like staying on the tractor, but Christy would absolutely adore throwing wood into one of these bad boys. You need a wood chipper. Trust me on this. I appreciate everybody watching, and we'll see you next time. And, yes, I'm guilty. We got a little red in the shed, too. Old IH.